Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, and I'm here today with my Nord Piano 4. And just a few days ago, Nord released a brand new piano sample. They're calling it a White Grand. Now, the White Grand is a Steinway Model B. How do we know this? Well, if you look at the screen here and you look at the info, you'll see underneath White Grand it says Steinway B. And this is their largest sample size, uh, size-wise, to date. There is so much detail that's built into this sample. It is the clearest sample yet. Now, the thing is, the White Grand, which is Steinway B, is actually what they call a semi-concert grand. And the reason is because of its size. It's just under seven feet. It's six foot ten and a half inches whereas a concert grand is nine feet so let's listen to the difference between this and some of the concert grands so you just heard this and let's hear oh, i've got a uh, royal grand 3d this was my favorite until the steinway model b came out in terms of the white grand so let's hear this Now let's go back to the white grand. It's so clear. Every key is so crystal clear. So let me try something again. Let's go back to the Royal Grand 3D and we're just going to do the top end over here. And let's do the same thing with the White Grand. Every key is so clear. Do it again. Royal Grand. White Grand. So clear. And we're going to do another piano here. This is the Grand Imperial, which is a Bosendorfer, 290. Um, known for its deep bass end here. And let's do the same thing with the white grand. Okay, obviously not quite as deep, but there's such dynamics to this white grand that, I mean, you can go from the lowest lows to the loudest louds, and the detail and the dynamics is just unreal. But the good news is about that, if you're in a band, um, whether it's a jazz trio or a full-blown rock band when you're playing with a Bosendorfer sample you may be stepping all over the bass player and that's not going to happen with the white grand yet at the same time if you want the bass it's there and that is so cool and here's another thing that's cool too when you're with a band or even solo for obvious reasons well maybe not so obvious unless you're a musician but basically you want to be playing in mono not stereo stereo presents all kinds of problems for a live audience unless you're sitting right there at the sweet spot you may be sitting at a spot where the sounds are going to cancel each other out the left and the right or you're going to hear all the right or you're going to hear all the left depending on where you're sitting so mono is the way to go when you're even solo, you know, um, that's just the way it is. So they have a mono switch here. So whatever you're playing, you can convert that over to mono. Now, let me show you something right here. This is the Grand Imperial. Okay, 
that's stereo, and we're gonna go ahead and make that mono. Listen. Still sounds good, but we've lost a little something there. Okay, now let's go ahead and try the same thing with the Royal Grand 3D. Alright, and now let's put that in mono. Okay, you heard what that sounds like? Alright, now let's go back to stereo and we're going to go with the white grand. Check this out. Stereo. Right now, let's go to mono. It's done so well, you can barely tell a difference. So when you put that in mono, it's gonna sound just like, well, not quite, but it's gonna sound as clear and as detailed as it did when you had it in stereo. So let me just put this back into stereo. This is so cool. I mean, I am so happy. This is one of the reasons I love being an, a Nord owner. This is their best yet. So good, I feel like I have a brand new piano here. And I felt like that when they came out with the Royal Grand 3D before this. And before that, they had the Fazioli, and oh, they just keep outdoing themselves. But however they sampled this, they got it right. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.